A bear with yellow shorts wearing a blue backpack containing a bird. This is probably one of the greatest ideas for a video game duo ever conceived, and in Banjo-Kazooie, you get this and a crazy super adventure to boot. So there's your little sister Tootie just chatting it up with bottles, the nerdy mole when who should come along with the sixth ugliest bitch in video game history who kidnaps and tries to steal her beauty. Now, this is where Rare leaves you with two options. You can either A, go along with a really long quest through an illogically constructed castle and try to save your sister, or B, you can press start, go down to save and quit and see exactly how sexy Grunty gets. Oh, she actually cleans up kind of nice. The only problem is now the game's over and you don't quite get your money's worth. So supposing you go with option A, Banjo and Kazooie will scour through nine levels, transforming into things thanks to mumbo jumbo and learning new moves with bottles. Now the best moves you learn in this game are not flying or going invincible. Like here, when Kazooie, a female, is carrying Banjo, a dude. Why? Well, this is the only time you're ever gonna see this because trust me, I tried this the other day and it didn't really go so well. No, crap! No! The second is Kazooie's ability to fart out or vomit eggs, but I couldn't exactly no. convince Cory to try that out at all. Sorry about that. All right, so even though the game is very bright and colorful, yay! There are some parts that just freak me out for whatever reason. Like, check this out. In the Treasure Trove Cove level, you got this super catchy, super happy music playing everywhere, but the instant you fall into water, ooh, scary music, and then, oh God! But then there's Clanker, oh Clanker. Clanker's Cavern is already a dark and creepy level in and of itself, but you know what the last thing I wanna see at the end of an enclosed underwater tunnel is? This. But Rare didn't leave this one without a good sense of humor though, uh-uh. Like there's this running gag about beating the life out of Gobi the camel to water a plant, get a honeycomb piece or whatever he's got. Or there's Grunty's sister Brentilda who can be found in various parts of the castle and talking to her will actually reveal some totally random facts about the evil witch. Ew. Now if the humor comes off as juvenile to you or you're too highbrow, meow, like in King Sandy Butt's tomb, then Rare left some innuendos in there that the youngins, they're not gonna be able to pick up on. Listen closely here. I think the flower pots are actually cussing at me. Thank you. Oh man, how great. Hilarious, terrifying, and incredibly fun, Banjo-Kazooie is one of the best games on the 64. Now, I realize I skipped over one very big part of the game that had the video game community literally speculating for years, but, We'll save that one for another time.